Hello and welcome. In the spirit of Christmas, we are going to be watching a Christmas film. And today's film is... Jingle Away. So grab your favourite drink, your favourite snack, and let's get into it. Bosh. Jingle all the way, motherfuckers. It gives me Power Ranger energy. There they are. My mum and dad never let me watch Power Rangers because I got too violent after watching <laughs> <laughs> Is that Anakin? Yeah, that's just young Anakin. This is how he goes to the dark side. He watches this film. Too much Power Rangers, guys. And you'll turn out like Anakin, so just be careful. Here you go, Mr. President. Mom, Dad, Booster. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, scary fucking fluffy rope. <laughs> You're my number one customer. The hardest thing when watching Arnold is not to imitate his voice. I know. Like every time I hear him speak, I just want to be like, yes, you are my number one customer. It just sounds fun to talk like him. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm going to make it. <laughs> I'm going to make it. I start sounding a bit like a camp German though sometimes when I do Arnold. It's like, I'm going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> the kids look great, don't they? Oh, this is one of the situations where he's like a workaholic dad and he's not mm. there for the karate lessons. And that's what turns Anakin to the dark side. Star Wars is just an eight year old boy's fever dream. Pretty much. I baked you some cookies. You know, to thank you for fixing my screen door. Well, thanks, Judy. Mm, fuck you, Judy. We hate Judy. It's for a private citizen to somehow be disappointed in the performance of my duty. <laughs> duty. <laughs> Step out of the vehicle. Would you ever flirt with a policeman to try and get off a speeding ticket or anything like that? No, I'd be too nervous. I'd just be really sweaty and clammy and they'd be like, you just go. <laughs> I can see you're punishing yourself enough. Just go. <laughs> hey, Mr. Officer. You would. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his dad's not there. It's because he doesn't love you. Just that. Just that. Straight up. Oh, wow. He's really late. At that point, you'd look at your watch and you'd be like, I'll just go home. Yeah. Do you, know what I, do you know what I mean? You'd look at your watch. No, you go home and then just be chilling out. They'd be like, where were you? It's like, you told me this time. I'm just gaslight the hell out of it. <laughs> I had some extra lights in the garage. And since you didn't put up any yourself, I thought, what the heck? Ted's scooping in there. Um, He's scooping in there for the waifu. He's like that soup off of um, boys with the, mm. with the big old penis. Coming through the window. Just <laughs> wrapping around, around <laughs> taking her away. It's Oh, Anakin. <laughs> What's your chance to save the universe with Turbo Man? That's such a shit name. Turbo Man. Turbo Man. It's almost as bad as like Superman. Almost as bad. <laughs> <laughs> or Batman. Yeah, they weren't very imaginative. No. Right? We don't question it anymore. I hope this is not true because I really wanted to be there. If you wanted to be there, you'd be there. <laughs> Tell me, what do you want? You to die. It's turbo time! Accessories sold separately, batteries not included. Johnny's gonna get one and so is everybody else I know. Whoever doesn't can be a real loser. You don't look like a loser being such a spoiled brat. See, he just emotionally blackmailed him to get what he wanted. He knew what he was doing. He's already on the dark side. Which reminds me, you got the doll, right? The doll. I got it. Oh, good. Because at this point, they'd probably be impossible to find. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I would say, I do like the editing in this film. Howard, it's Christmas Eve. Oh, wow, that is late. You're buying presents on Christmas Eve. I have to pick up the D-O-L-L. -L. I think this is going to be the whole plot of the movie, is just him finding the doll. The Holiday Entertainment Parade. We go every year. Well, you didn't go last year or the year before. Oh, my God. Just let it go, man. <laughs> Little Christmas surprise for Johnny. You just think of everything, don't you, Ted? That's terrible. I'm judging him so much for obtaining a reindeer. <laughs> Whoa! Nothing like waiting till the last minute, Howard, sir. Oh, just fuck off. Was that me opening up? Oh, before the internet. Hey, give the man a break. He's a dad trying to get a toy. <laughs> So is everyone else. That about those little stupid letters from Kiss to Santa at the North Pole. 
and as if I didn't have enough pressure in my life, my son sends me out for some like goofy butt toy. I mean, for meeting the guy one day, he's venting a bit too hard, isn't he? <laughs> Just a little bit. You've known him for five minutes and you're just telling me your whole life story. You know what I like to do? I like to walk up in that office, grab one of those guys, and just chuck him, 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 and just chuck him. Mate, I think he needs to be on the psych ward. Yeah. What lady? Uh, uh, short, uh, uh, with, with a fur coat. Fur coat. Fur coat. Uh -huh. fur coat. Sorry, buddy. No. Ah, this is what the story's going to be about. The whole movie's going to be about him just trying to find a toy. Yeah. And then it's going to resolve itself by he doesn't have the toy, and then actually Christmas is all about spending time together. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> I'm keeping that one in the, in the memory bank. You'll be vexing at me, and I'll just be like, oh, poor baby. <laughs> hey, lady, get me to give me that thing. It was all your pay for that. Look at you. It's Christmas Eve, and you're slaving over a hot stove. Is this the mom of the year or what? It's no. Oh, he's such a little snake. Ugh. No big deal, really. And modest, too. Uh. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little you time. I think a little bit of you time needs to have me in it. Oh, no. <laughs> da, da, da. Go on. You deserve it. Whoa, he is touching her inappropriately. <laughs> Whoa. Do you see his eyes go? Hmm? He's disgusting. But your wife's cookies are out of this world. What a... Who told you you can eat my cookies? The my cookies. She made them for me. Stop trying to fuck my cookies. <laughs> Stop putting my cookies in your mouth. <laughs> Not your boy. Mm. Oh, these cookies. I gotta get the red straight from Les. Put that cookie down now. <laughs> That's good to have priorities. Put the cookie down. Look at those creepy elves in the background. Just with their heads bobbing about. I was good enough to talk to line, but I'm not good enough to be in your team. See, that's racism. <laughs> oh dear. You broke my little mirror. You broke my little mirror. Bro. I'm gonna have to break you now. <laughs> oh, do you remember going to Toys R Us? Yeah, when Toys R Us was still open. That was a good time. They mm. always get those green plastic toy soldiers. Oh like, yeah, get yeah. a bag of a hundred. And I just uh, line them up like I, an autismo. I used to melt them. You used to melt them? A little psycho. <laughs> These balls will then be drawn in a standard lottery fashion to see who gets a doll. The thing is, if you get more than one ball, then you get it. And that's the kind of consumerist thinking that's got us in this situation in the first place. I got it! I got it! I got it! Ah! Whoa! Is that pepper spray? Let me get this straight. To get that ball, he maced him in the eyes. If that's the case, he would not be able to see right now. It's Arnold, though. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are robotic. He does eye workouts. Yeah, he just squints really hard. Just like, <laughs> in the mirror, just like, oh, I am the best. I am the best. This is my ball! To chase a small child. Oh, he's gonna make a small kid cry, aren't we? But he doesn't know that that ball's gonna even get him a turbo man. I think he's just in a frenzy. <laughs> this is what Christmas does to you. <laughs> it's an evil time of year. He would have been arrested three times by now. Whoa, okay, no, get the cut. Uh, yeah. No, no. Just give me the ball. Whoa. The call. Oh. Yeah, sicko. Get out. I need a ball. I need that toy! Mum's united. <laughs> it reminds me of there's a sketch in Monty Python where they have like all the grannies, but the, the group of grannies, instead of being like nice and knitting, they're like a biker gang and they go around <laughs> and they beat people up. And so that, that handbag scene reminded me of that. You want a turbo man for Christmas? Forget it, I'm not gonna sit in your lap. <laughs> you hear me, right? Con men, thieves, degenerates, lowlifes, thugs, criminals! Well, Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're all just trying to pay for turbo mans for their kids. Come on, what are you, chicken? Imagine if fights actually started this way in real life. <laughs> that is a heavy beard he's got there. <laughs> yeah, he's got a beard made out of lead. <laughs> now he's getting flashbacks from Nam. I'm gonna deck your halls. Oh, hey. he's on the big show. I don't know what that is. He's a wrestler. Yeah, that's the big show! <laughs> well, it's the big show! <laughs> I feel like that whole scene was just completely pointless. <laughs> hey, maybe your parents should get a divorce. Did wonders for my dad. Love children's insights. Yeah. When, when you're that young, there's no filter. You just say what's on your mind. 
Oh, I think I know what's going to happen. What? Dad's going to become Turbo Man. <gasps> you know, it's like what Turbo Man says. Always keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. His son's definitely on the spectrum because he's reciting a lot of lines from this Turbo Man guy. <laughs> Maybe Turbo Man is his father figure because his real dad's not around. Oh. Maybe this will help. That makes it better. Coming back stinking of alcohol mm. way on Christmas Eve. Yeah, drive home drunk. That's always good. Yeah, couldn't find the kid at all. Does it make me a bad father? No. Yelling at him for no good reason. Yes, you're I yelling at would... him for being a spoiled brat. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, his kids gaslighting him. His kids just got you know like when, when prisoners have got tallies on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> he's just got like tallies of all the days he's missed on the calendar. Yeah, couldn't find the kid a doll. I don't like the fact he's calling it a doll. That's a shame that you feel that way. I know. My my inner twelve year old to be like, um, I'm not having those icky girl toys. Excuse me. Your sister's just like, Haha, you're getting a doll. <laughs> No, think so, buddy. Now we know how old the film is. They don't have a mobile phone. If they did, they basically have to get out a bloody suitcase. Let me in. Let me in. I got the answer. Come on. I got the answer. Yes. How the fuck did he get in there? Mm, he's not getting in. I got a madman in my studio and... Uh... Oh, no. Now what's that? This, Master Trackstar, is a homemade explosive device. A bomb? What the fuck is going on? We we're gonna blow. <laughs> so we're not getting a toy, so we're gonna blow. It's <laughs> filmed somehow. Did you call the cops? <laughs> of course you called the cops. You literally were gonna. You threatening the, the bomb the studio. <laughs> what? This is a homemade explosive device, and I'll blow it up. Know why? Because I work for the post office, so you know I'm not safe. I think all the posties around here are pretty nice. I don't think I've ever met a not nice postman. Yeah, they're, they're pretty calm. And I don't know if you move, because I have the ear of a snake. Ciao, baby. Already I'm trying to count like all the amount of potential felonies that the main character should have got already. He impersonated a police officer. Yeah. He threatened to bomb a studio. He, he, he was gonna buy knockoff goods. Yeah. He assaulted slash harassed an underage girl. Yeah. He ran into oncoming traffic. He didn't even run. <laughs> he ran. He ran. And then he just... Oh my god. Was that a bomb? So everyone in there should really be dead. Like, we should have seen dismembered by... Merry Christmas! <laughs> what is he doing over there on Christmas Eve? Like, that's not on. Your neighbour decorating your Christmas tree. Uh-uh. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, Ted, but that's Howard's job, you know? He always puts the star on. She has to put up with a lot of insecure men. My husband has to put on the star. He gets really funny if he doesn't. <laughs> Can you please get out of my house? And We're not trying to offend you. Yeah. I'm a bit worried. <laughs> so now we're on like the fifth or sixth felony charge. Oh, bro. Stop touching bro, her. that is literally harassment. Still psycho eyes. Who has a life-size nativity in their living room? That's creepy. I don't want the Virgin Mary staring down at me whilst I'm opening my presents. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Making it so much worse. That is Johnny's Turbo Man. What? It's not what you think it is. Oh, it isn't? Really? Well, then do tell me what it is. Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bench press your way out of this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go fuck your wife. Yeah. She's gonna show me her cookies. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the ones in the oven. What is up with this reindeer? You picked the wrong day. <laughs> Not cool. Not cool. I don't like him anymore. Oh. Absolutely not. Yeah. You just punched him. <laughs> I want the other guy to fuck his wife. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. You and your own. How to kill a reindeer? <laughs> <laughs> Punch it and then get it drunk. Hey. 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 Whoa. Yeah. And Jamie, put on your hat. I know. Jesus, woman, stop bothering me. Are you the guy? Huh? Oh, thank God. Hey, we got him, people. Oh, here we go. He's going to be Turbo Man. The uh, emergency cutoff yeah, switch is here. But you don't understand. The uh, primary like, controls are going to be right here. Wow. I'm just imagining, like, they're doing all this and it's just like a full on gimp suit. <laughs> and he's just like. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Yes. Oh, and have... before you say anything. Who's a good little cat boy? Jeez, I've been sweating like a dog in a Chinese restaurant. Oh. <laughs> That guy's living his best life. 
<laughs> I want to be that guy. His knee's looking inverted. <laughs> and then at the end of the film, he's just like, don't worry, Dad, I don't need a toy because you are my turbo man. Blech. I wonder who's gonna give it to. <laughs> okay, d- d- don't do be- anything else with the doll. <laughs> you can be my new child. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Jamie! He knows my name. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, and he's gone. I'll be like, how does this grown man know your name, sweetie? Bit creepy. <laughs> this random stranger know your son's name. <laughs> Jamie, who lives at 22 Smith Street. <laughs> Who's in class three in elementary? <laughs> it's Turbo Man's arch enemy. Let's try. It. That was very impressive. That's right, Turbo Man. Thought you could outsmart me, didn't you? These guys are unhinged. <laughs> Come back here, my little pretty. And a little doll too. Hey, Marin. He's literally stealing his child. Yeah, this is kidnapping. What, what is the? Mo- oh, the mum doesn't know what's going on, does she? <laughs> he just like kills him in front of his child. The man's in it just like just decapitates him. Like, oh. <laughs> Oh, it's the Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers! What you gonna do now, kid? Yeah. Ooh! Whoa. Nutshot. Call that one the Nutcracker. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, now she's got that it's not rehearsed and there's actually a grown man after her child. Never! Oh. This kid's got some bollocks. This kid should be getting bollocks. <laughs> Why, Turbo Man, use your jetpack? Yeah, you know, he has to be told to what to do every single time. Have you not watched the adverts? I wanna get away. I wanna <laughs> fly away. Iconic. Oh, that is not. <laughs> Turbo Man, help! Jamie, I got you! Oh, Jamie, you idiot! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jamie, why didn't you have longer arms? Okay, the whole flying lesson's gone on for long enough now. I got you, kid! The kid might actually die. I mean, your kid's an idiot, to be fair. Got quick strength, though. He's been playing on the monkey bars. <laughs> Missed me! What are you trying to do? Kill the other guy? <laughs> Victory is mine! Perspective, guys. <laughs> He's gonna die. Turbo Man! Help! Jamie! Oh, God. Now he can use the fucking rockets. Took so long for the pen to drop. Thanks, Turbo Man. I knew you'd save me. I knew you'd save me. Thank you, Turbo Man. His dad's actually at work. Fucking his secretary. <laughs> this is the kid just pretending yeah. that Turbo Man's his dad. My dad does love me. My dad does love me. <laughs> he saved me from the mentor. It was the coolest. Did you see it? Did you? Did you see it? Did you? <laughs> he's acting. His... Well, they cast him for Star Wars after this. I know, and it. his performance in that was was plywood esque. Howard? Right here. Howard? Oh, oh. you keep the costume. I know I've been neglecting both of you. No questions about why he's Turbo Man? Nah. I thought you wanted this doll more than anything. What do I need the doll for? I got the real Turbo Man at home! Called it! Yay! How long's that gonna last though? A week? <laughs> now I want Mr. Roboto Man, please. <laughs> <laughs> I want Zoomy Zoomy Fast Man. And with all the attachments and everything. There we have it. Jingle all the way. That whole film had nothing to do with jingle bells. Or jingling. There was no jingle in it all. No, they just made the film and then picked out of a hat like generic Christmas <laughs> movies. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lately, fill my days are with all this amazing stuff. Hottest part of the day is the wake up. Trying to keep my eyes shut, my butterflies. Free.